Welcome, I'm Elizabeth Harper and I'm here with this week's Angel Messages. What I'd like you to do first is place one or both of your hands over your heart, just like angel wings. I invite your angels to guide you to message one, two or three, a message that comes from their heart to yours. What you can also do is invite your angels to guide you again to use your cursor move it along in the video until you intuitively feel it's time to stop and right there is an extra message from your angels okay so we have a big stack of cards what i'd like you to do is see if you can intuit where i pick the cards from maybe even what kind of card it's going to be okay so here are the cards first card I'm feeling like it's up the top here. I'm hearing the word third. So let's see. It's this one. This is an Archangel card. Second one. Same thing. I'm feeling like it's third from the bottom. And it's a daily message card. Right. <laughs> I'm feeling it's in the middle. Did you get that? And it's another Archangel card. All right. Let's see what we have. So our first card is healthy lifestyle. Look at that. Now this is lovely golden and green right here. So that green, of course, is a wonderful color for balance, for finding balance. Of course, lots of green food, fresh foods, etc. That golden energy, an aspect of that is about wisdom about being wise, about what you bring into your body, what you do with your body, how you live, how you think, how you act, etc. The message is from Archangel Raphael. It says, eat a beautiful diet, get adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimal health. Now, when I look at this, there's also a caduceus right there. And it has some chakra, little chakra pieces on it too. Let me see, Archangel Raphael, of course, is the angel of healing, angel of health. I'm feeling when I tune into this that it's also about new beginnings. There's a sense of, there's a feeling of emotion that comes with this card. It feels almost as if you may have had a lot of emotional shifts and changes and transformations just lately, and you may have just been a little bit off balance, out of whack, and it could have set your routine also out of whack it could be that <clears throat> you're not eating the way that is beneficial for you or you're not sleeping good hours or you're not looking after your body your emotional mental spiritual and physical bodies i feel as if it's time for you just to take a moment take a moment take a breath relax focus on yourself look after yourself you know, there's, uh, and I say this a lot, when you're on an airplane, if you ever go on an airplane, you're told that you need to, if the oxygen masks come down, to put that oxygen mask on yourself first before you help the person next to you. It's important for you to stay healthy. Focus on your own health. And this isn't just about eating. It's about everything that you bring into your life. The relationships, the thoughts, the words, the energy of everything that's coming into your life, it's impacting you. And now it's time to just focus on that. Think about it. It's not something that has to be negative. Call on Archangel Raphael to guide you to what it is you need to focus on right now that will help you. Okay. I feel like I need to listen to that as well. All right, our second card is have confidence. It's a beautiful card, isn't it? And this angel here is uh, turquoise, has turquoise on the, on the top and this beautiful violet and then this red. I love those colors, what gorgeous colors. Turquoise is actually a color of acceptance. So on the opposite side of it, it's rejection. Red is that beautiful color of grounding an identity there's identity that comes into that that vibration and with this violet in the middle there's a change that's coming this transformation that's coming so let me read this card to you it says moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself 
confidence in God is enough, along with knowing that God works through you and with you in all ways. Lean upon us if your confidence wavers and we will buoy your courage and faith. <laughs> now notice one thing here that she has a foot, one foot in the water and one foot on the land. And a part of that is about having your foot in your emotions, having your foot on sturdy being grounded, being in this present moment. I feel with this that it's saying that you are in the flow. You are in the flow of your emotions. You're in the you're in this vibration of being on the planet, being on the earth, working in this present moment, staying in this present moment. The, the turquoise energy that's around this says that you may be a little bit more sensitive than you would be normally, and you might be a little bit more sensitive to criticism coming in. But try not to be too reactive to that criticism, just if there is any. Also, this could be criticism from yourself as well. Try not to be too reactive around that and, and notice what that's about where it sits in your body what does that mean how does it how does it impact your life this criticism is it if it's coming from somebody else is it really about you or is it about them turquoise is a beautiful color to put around yourself to help you to accept yourself and also to release that energy of criticism to let go of that energy of judgment. Have confidence. That's the solar plexus usually, but I'm feeling with this that it's higher up, especially with that turquoise. It comes just above the heart, between the throat and the heart. You may want to this week say, I am confident. I accept myself. I love myself, etc. All right, I feel that those things are going to help you right now. All right, well, our final card is leadership. Ooh, what a lovely card. Now, this is coming from Archangel Gabriel. It says, it's time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. How is that? We're wearing the same top. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? I hardly ever wear this, and that's kind of funny. So Gabriel is very important right now, especially for me. So that Gabriel energy, you see there's a trumpet there. That's very much about sharing your messages, sharing your light, sharing your ideas, sharing your creativity, because Gabriel is very much a, a creative vibration. You're fertile, planting seeds, allowing those seeds to grow, etc. When I look at this with that golden orange energy, this is a highly creative week for you. Even if you think that you're not creative, there are so many different things that you do that are creative love that love that part of yourself I can't say any more about that but love that part of yourself that even though you didn't recognize your creative genius you are incredibly creative you use words you get dressed that creativity is there how you create your home your garden your work how you may drive to work you know there's lots of different ways that you can express your creativity so just notice that because the more you have gratitude for your creative genius the more that creativity is going to be let's say nurtured and you'll find that more creativity starts coming into your life in surprising ways this is what i'm getting from my guides and angels is this this love of the creative part of yourself is going to help you to embrace even more coming into your life the final thing is it feels almost like there's a little cultural break or there's something this week that is going to be kind of exciting and it feels like you're stepping out of your usual routine to do something a little bit different. Okay, that's it for this week's angel messages. I hope you enjoyed them. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if the messages resonated for you. And if they did, please share this video with your friends. I'm sure they would love to have an angel message. I will see you next week. Lots of angel blessings to you.
<laughs> bye bye